OK, we are going to figure the Laplace transform of t times cosine t without using the table, without using Wolfgang alpha. So how can we do this then? Well, we have t multiplied by cosine t. We have to remember the effect when we multiply by t with a function, right? So let me write this down first. We know that when we have the Laplace transform of just cosine t, this is going to be what? s over s squared plus this is 1t, so we have 1 squared, which is just a 1, isn't it? And now, we have this t right in front. Remember that when we multiply t with cosine t inside of the Laplace world like this. In the s world, all we are going to do is, let's go ahead and differentiate this with respect to s. And don't forget, we differentiate it one time and also multiply by negative 1 one time. So let me just put down the negative right here. And now let's just get to work. This question is pretty much about if you remember the quotient rule now, right? Anyway, this is going to be, let me just take the negative right here, right? And then we have to use the quotient rule because we have a variable on the top and also the variable on the bottom, right? So let's go ahead. Square the denominator, so we have s squared plus 1 squared. And then the quotient rule says, I will keep the bottom function, which is s squared plus 1. And then multiply by the derivative of the top. The derivative of s in the s world is just 1, so this is what we have. And then minus the top function, which is s, times the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of s squared plus 1 is just going to be 2s, so we multiply by 2s, like that. And then if you would like, keep the negative all the way in the front like this, and then the bottom is still s squared plus 1, and then square, and if you see the top, 1 times s squared, just s squared, right? This is just s squared. And then 1 times 1, just plus 1. And then this is minus 2, and then s times s, which is s squared, right? s squared minus 2s squared altogether is negative s squared. And then we have this plus 1, isn't it? Once again, it's like this. Let me just probably just blue this right here. Not right here, you get this. Plus 1, still here. But we still have the negative in front. And technically, there's an invisible parentheses on the top. So distribute this negative into the parentheses. So negative negative becomes positive s squared, and then negative times the 1, so it becomes minus 1, over that, which is the s squared plus 1 in the parentheses, and you square that. So this right here is it, the Laplace transform of t times cosine t. That's it.